It's been way too long since I've been out here rock fishing. So let me tell you the plan today. First, I'm gonna start with something big. This is a 7.8 inch Kitek. Actually, I wanna get your opinion on swim baits for rockfish. Do you have anything that you wish was made? Because I wanna start making my own, selling them for cheaper than these, because these are $10 for two, $5 for, for each. I mean, that's, that's really expensive. And a lot of the other ones are really expensive too. And I wanna have some custom, really nice designs for an affordable price, so I'm working on that. But the game plan is, actually let me know in the comments, what do you think is a good swim bait to have? So I'm gonna do this first, try to catch a big fish. After that, I'm gonna switch to something smaller, try to find a school of blacks or blues. David and I are gonna cook some coconut crusted fish sandwiches today. That's the plan. 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, 30 pound braid, swivel, 7.8 inch Kitek. So let's catch a big fish first. It's winter time, so all of the big lings supposedly are close to shore breeding. Get one just for the fight. Let's do it. Well, first time using this steelhead rod out here. Let's see how this thing casts. All right, I didn't give it too much muscle on that one, but not bad. Let's see how deep it is now. Looks like there's a little shelf right here about 20 feet out and that's kind of shallow maybe like 20 feet deep and then out farther is 30. So while I think it's very possible to catch a big fish on that I'm gonna tie a dropper loop up here and attach another smaller swim bait just to give myself a better shot at a smaller fish too. My hook right here. Got my little swim bait right here. Now I'm gonna catch a fish. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do another cast or two. I like that calm area over there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is my last cast here. Alright, the other swim bait was a 7.8 inch one. This one is a 5.8, so two inches shorter. I feel way more comfortable with this. Way more confident with this. I don't think it's gonna take long to get a fish now. I know I haven't done a rockfish video late uh, in a while, but how you tell the bottom, you cast out and just let it sink until you feel it thud on the bottom. Keep your line tight. I've been saying this for years. fishing this spot you see David right behind me it feels pretty sandy honestly so I'm gonna just fish all around cast in different spots and right where David is standing actually that rock extends out probably another 15 20 feet at least so if I cast near there I know there's structure for sure so there's almost certainly some fish around that area guaranteed now in the middle it's a little bit harder to tell because there's a lot of sand but I'm just gonna go with what I know first Cast over there. Man, it's nice to fish out here. It's been a while. Put a little bit more weight on. I got no dropper loop this time, so no exposed hook to get snagged. Green pumpkin, one of my favorite colors of all time, so let's see. Shouldn't take long. Where's the fish? Got one. Got a good one. Got one, David. 
feels like a good one. Oh, this is a good fish. But again, this is that salmon steelhead rod, so this thing bends. All right, let's bring him up here. Ooh, oh man. I don't know, it's big though. Probably a big ling, I think. Maybe a verm. <laughs> Wait for this swell to come in. Come on up. Man, he's deep in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, a big ling. Ling cod, a oh, good size ling, nothing crazy. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Hell yeah, Way man. Switched it up. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, yeah. Nice. Man, the tried and true old faithful. Yep, green pumpkin. That green pumpkin, baby. Yeah. That's, that's the keeper, I think, huh? What do you think? I think Man, that's a female. Let her go. That's a female because she's blue. Right. Let her go. We're gonna be here all day, bro. All right. Plenty more where that came from. It's up to you, though, man. Let's see. I got my measuring tape here. I, I'm gonna say 22 and a half, but she's thin. 22 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna produce a lot of eggs this season. This little guy. This little girl. What about your 13 pounder that you're gonna keep? <laughs> I let her go! You're gonna keep one today though. Well, if it's a male. <laughs> Most of those big, all those big ones are females usually. Hell yeah, man. Nice, yeah. dude. Yeah, I'll let her go, it's early. Good way to start the day. I don't know though, I mean, I don't wanna not, not have food. I'm gonna starve out here. Well, if she'll stay alive, you think she'll stay alive? Man, that's Put nice. Look at that bright, be beautiful blue. Okay. How about I'll, I'll, I'll keep her in this pool. If she gets washed out by her own self, then she deserves to live. Man, that's gonna provide thousands and thousands of future ling cod for us to catch. She's barely 22. I'd rather keep a small one than a big one. Why would you want? Why do you want to let her go? Because it's female. Yeah, yeah. Just that's, but, the, only I, but that's that, the only reason why. But they, it might not even be a female. Just because it's blue doesn't necessarily mean that it's female. All right. It's up to you, man. Well, you're sure and persistent. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, brother. Uh, Do what you want. All right. Well, yeah. I gotta decide something quick. It's early, man. Get her back in the water. <laughs> he really wants me to release her. All right, I'll release her. That's a keeper lingcod, though. A nice one, too. Oh, man, that's a good eater size. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, for David. What are you gonna do? I'll release her. You brought me out here. Whatever you want me to do with it, I'll, I'll do with it. All right, David, this is for you, man. Letting her go, even though it's a keeper. This was our lunch, all right? If we don't catch another one, man. That's, you did good, bro. You did the right thing. That's future generations. That's future generations, he says. That's future generations for us to keep and catch out here. Although, at the beginning of the day, he did say he's going to keep everything he catches. It's a little breakdown of that catch. Right behind me, right here, it's, it's like sandy, like we were saying earlier. Kind of sandy, don't know really where the rocks are. Right where David's fishing, I know there's rocks, but I didn't get any bites there. Over there by that big rock, you can kind of see tops of a couple rocks. So I cast it as close as I could to those because I know that there's rocks over there. Same with that. Like all around here, kind of sandy, kind of rocky. Over here, definitely rocky. See that thing? See that thing? Cast it in between there, let it sink. You might get a fish like I just did. David actually caught a vermilion right from that spot before. A nice one. I think it was like a 23-incher. Oh, with the baseball swing. Swing, home run, baby. Home run, out of the park. 
Still letting it sink, letting it sink. He hasn't hit bottom yet. So there he goes, retrieve right there. Now with the slow, steady retrieve, he's gonna bring it in until he feels the bite and keep doing that over and over again. Oh, a little bend in that rod. A little seal right next to him too. Checking him out, scoping out his fish. Any fish he gets, that seal's gonna take it. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, snagged. Got it free. Nope. Oh. That's what happens when you go rock fishing. You gotta bring extra tackle. Oh, oh, he got it off. No, he didn't. I think this is gonna be it for David. Let's see what his reaction is right now. Just broke it. Let's see, is he gonna play it cool or is he gonna show his true emotions? Oh, he's cussing to himself right now. Smiling, laughing. <laughs> but he's seething. He's seething. <laughs> now the fun thing to do would just be just to go over and take David's spot. But I think this spot is a little bit more fishy, so I'm just gonna stick here. Really rocky. Oh man, it's too rocky. Oh shoot. David, we're meeting the same fate. No, damn it. All right, I think I was talking too much. That karma is real. Now, should I show that on camera or should I edit it out? I don't know, let's think about that one. There's fish here for sure, for sure. Man, it's deep here too. David, why did you tell me to release that? I know it's 100% my decision to keep a fish or not, but we should have kept that fish if you had only said, keep it. But no, you had to say that it would have made thousands of fish, all these babies, and now we're going hungry for the day. Man, I'm gonna be talking about this for the rest of my life anyway I'm gonna change spots and try my luck somewhere else and if I don't catch anything I'm just gonna call it a day got one yeah baby oh come on up here be a keeper baby be a keeper that might be the ling that I released earlier come on up baby what are you 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 it doesn't feel huge it doesn't feel huge and it's like dead weight almost could be a ling I don't know it's a nice fish though whatever I still don't see anything no leader oh there's leader oh that's a keeper ling that's a keeper ling hell yeah baby oh don't shake free just on the side of the lip Come on up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got it back. What do you think? 
I'm going uh, to say 22 and a half. It's close, yeah. Oh, that's right at 22. That's a keeps. That's a keeps, bro. That is, that is actually. All right. Shoot. What do you think? How long will it take to cook this thing? What time is it? It's 2.10 right now. We can do it. All right, let's, let's eat them. So usually when I catch a fish like this and I'm about to cook them up, take a rock, boom, bash it on this head. But I ordered something, a little something different. This just, I don't know, it looks a little bit more humane. A little ice pick, bah, right through the head. So let me put them down, safe spot so I don't poke myself. And brain is usually just back, but, but behind the eyes, just a little bit. So right there, give it a hit. One poke. And he's out, not wiggling at all. He's out. Right through the brain. We can do one more. But that's it, he's out. Quick kill, bleeding a little bit, but better than just bashing it in the head, right? Right through the brain. Little ice pick. Now we're gonna let Chef David tell us what he's, what he's cooking. So what's the plan with this? We're gonna keep them like that, keep it like that and crust it, pepper it, marinate it a little bit. Yeah. A little avocado oil, huh? Just doing a little light marinade so that it's ready to receive the delicious coconut flakes, the fine coconut flakes. I love potato bread or, or buttermilk bread. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just gonna we're just gonna toast these up, crisp them up a little bit. Ooh, that bread looks good. That bread looks good already, ready for some meat. How's this one doing? That looks good too. All right, let's put it down. All right, so what you doing here? Fine shredded coconut that I uh, climbed the tree and, and shaved myself. So, I mean, usually, you want to use like a like an egg wash and uh, and flour, but I think that that tends to be a little bit heavy. Um, I think that if you use the finely shredded uh, as opposed to um, the more uh, the thicker pieces, the finely shredded tends to come through better flavor-wise. And I think that when you use just coconut with no egg wash, no flour that you really get a, uh, a more definitive coconut flavor and it's not as heavy. So we're gonna do that. I always like to pat down the fish just so that it's ready to receive whatever kind of seasonings you're gonna be using. And then I patted it also with some avocado oil. That way that it, you know, just so that it really is nice and sticky. And it really binds well with the fish. Might even throw some more on there when it, once it gets on the on the heat source. Golden brown, baby. Fish has been cooking for about eight minutes or so. Well, I've cut on top, huh? That's all. No, that's good. Yeah. yeah, you killed the rest. That's what we got. That's the sandwich. Looking good. Might be tasty if you ask me. I'm hungry. Pretty, pretty good, I think. Yeah. My it, mouth is salivating right now. I think it turned out really well. Fish for about seven hours. Are you getting the coconut? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Mmm. That was good, man. Man, thank you so much, bro. Thank you, dude. First time out here, thanks for showing me all these spots. Yeah, there's more to come. A lot of these videos have been thanks to you. Yeah, man. I love to show somebody who appreciates spots like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're right though. They calmed down, swell dropped. The wind picked up, it's gonna blow all that smoke out. 
I mean, it's already significantly better than it was for like two, three hours ago. It was dead calm. Yeah. The smoke was filling even more.